welcome to Now About Chef. Today on the menu, we're going to make some Japanese rice balls. So Japanese rice balls is often using the leftover rice from the night before. It's often either served for breakfast or more often than not as a lunch dish. Kind of like where we have sandwiches. Yeah, it's like that rice sandwich. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they're called balls, but they look like triangles. Well, in, in Japanese, <laughs> it's pronounced onigiri, I think. I'm probably wrong, but... But we like them, and mm. this is the way that we make them. Yeah. So. so let's get cooking. For our rice balls, we used a high quality Japanese medium grain rice. Measure 300 grams of rice into a pot or rice cooker. Wash and drain the rice two to three times until the water is only slightly milky. Add 390 milliliters of water to the pot. Put a few pieces of kombu seaweed in with the rice and set to cook. If you're cooking on the stove top, cook for 15 to 20 minutes on a medium heat with a lid on. While the rice is cooking, prepare the ingredients to put inside the rice balls. You can use pretty much whatever you like to fill them. We used beef with wasabi mayonnaise, lemon flavored tuna with sweet corn, and semi-dried tomatoes with cream cheese. When the rice is cooked, remove the kombu seaweed and stir the rice. Leave it to cool to a temperature that is easy to handle but is still warm. Cut a piece of plastic wrap and leave it flat on the bench. Dampen the inside of a small bowl and your hands with water. Place a small handful of rice into the bowl and form a well. Fill the well with your choice of fillings. Cover the fillings with more rice, then dampen your hands once again, spreading a tiny amount of salt onto them. And tip the rice out of the bowl onto your hand. Gently press and form the rice into a rounded triangular shape. Wrap the finished rice ball in the plastic wrap to hold its shape. Repeat the process until all the rice is used up. So we'll let them chill overnight and they'll be nice and ready for lunch tomorrow. So they've chilled overnight and they're nice and firm and ready to eat now. We'll just finish them off. You don't need to leave them overnight. You can just chill them for an hour or two and they'll be nice and firm and ready to eat then. Or you could even eat them while they're still warm. But we're just going to finish them off with a little bit of nori seaweed and then they'll be ready for us to eat and fill our bellies with. <laughs> so I'm getting my nori seaweed 
and I'm just folding it like you would rip a piece of paper because it rips quite easily. You don't have to cut it with a pair of scissors or a knife. But if you prefer to do it like that, not a big difference. And I'm using a little bit of water on my thumb, spread it out in the piece of seaweed where I'm going to stick it. That way it becomes a bit enough sticky enough for me to stick it onto the rice balls. Place my rice ball on and then wet each side with a bit of water and fold it up. And we're putting the seaweed on so you can, if you take them out for lunch and stuff, you can eat it with your hands so you're not grabbing hold of the rice and getting your hands all sticky with rice. Makes it just an ease of eating. Plus it adds a bit of flavour too. I like the taste of nori seaweed. Shouldn't hold it near my mouth. <laughs> I might eat it. Might be too tempting. Yeah, too tempting. <laughs> so that's our Japanese rice balls. Or triangles. Or triangles. <laughs> they are rice balls, but yeah. balls don't sit flat, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they're a little bit easier to make than sushi rolls. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. are. Not as easy as like just some plain old sandwiches, <laughs> but <laughs> still. But as always, if you'd like the recipe for these, check the link in the description below. Um, that will link to our website, which has all of our recipes on it. If you do make these, don't forget to send us pics on social media, so Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We do love seeing the pictures, and we got so many great pictures of yeah. the curry puffs that we did last week. So it was really nice to see all those and how yeah. they turned out. So, <laughs> um, Some of you who follow us on Twitter may know that we sent out a tweet uh, yesterday about getting to 4,000 subscribers. So my dad challenged us to get to 4,000 subscribers by today. And thanks to your help, we actually did it. So <laughs> yay, yay, we're at 4,000 subscribers. Thank you. <laughs> So thanks to everybody who subscribes and watches our vlogs. Thanks to those of you who have been around since the beginning. We really yeah. do appreciate it and we couldn't have gotten this far without all of you. So no, definitely not. We did not expect to get 4,000 subscribers in, in our, our first, first year. year. That's that's blown us away. Yeah. So, thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go and eat these. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Bye.